Welcome back to the shop guys. This week on the channel, we're going to do a couple more shop upgrades to get the shop nice and organized. I think we're going to do three. Now, last time when we did our shop upgrades, we worked on this corner here, uh, kind of getting it cleaned up. And I have these screw boxes, these bits and bob boxes. Now, this has got all kinds of staples and screws, three quarters, two and a half, and it just helps me not have to go buy a bunch of stuff when I really need it. So I think we're gonna start by figuring out some storage to get those up off the ground. Stick around, I'm Stoner Erickson from Erickson Design Company. Let's build something. The first thing here is I'm gonna mark where I want my bits and bobs box to go. And then I'll just grab a drill bit just slightly smaller than the actual bracket. And then I'll just screw this bracket in. Now I am really happy that these are gonna be up off the ground. These boxes actually clip together. I take these boxes with me when I go out and do work outside of the shop. That was easy enough. Just installing a quick $3 bracket, those get up and off the floor. Now these actually clip together, and then when I need them, I'll just pull it off and I'll have access to all of my bits and bobs, which I think is kind of cool. I have a couple more of these and I'm gonna find a few other things I need to hang up off the wall. Those are $3 a piece, so less than $9. I'm getting stuff up off the floor and I'm staying organized. Now next, I want to figure out, so let me just say this. So this is my paper storage. So I use this paper here to cover the table saw when I'm painting or most of the times my actual workbench. And I pull it out. I didn't make this very big. This is 12 inch paper. And I have my tapes and stuff over here. But what I really need or what I would really like is on the end of my bench here, right here, I would like to build some kind of bracket that holds a larger bit of paper that I can just pull up and over, attach here, and then this is covered up. So if I'm doing some spray painting or if I'm doing work with epoxy or whatever I'm working with, that way that area can stay clean and it's a little easier to put the paper on. So let's do that. Those of you who have watched some of my other videos know that I love these pipe fittings. So I always have this bag here full of kind of elbows and flanges and tees so I really can make whatever I want. As I was putting this together, I realized that I kind of wanted a lower bracket to hold like a roll of paper towels or tape or something. I'm just gonna test out the fit of the paper towels and then I have this roll of paper I've got from Lowe's and I'm gonna mark it and I'm gonna slice it at 24 and a half inches. Now that I'm gonna finally assemble this, I'm actually gonna goose down all the pipe fittings. I left them all loose because I wanted to be able to change it, but now that I'm happy with it, I'll really crank them down, tighten them up. Using this clamp as an extra set of hands, I'm gonna position it exactly where I want it. I'll just grab some three quarter inch screws here, zip it in, it should hold it nice and tight. Man, oh man, is this ever gonna be nice to have on my bench? Okay, so another really easy, fun one to do, just some pipe clamps, about $20 worth of pipe clamps. I went ahead and added this piece for a paper towel holder. Everyone needs paper towels in the shop. That way it's below. Now this bench used to fold down 
And as I keep cruising along, I realize I don't fold this down very often, so I can put a fixed thing on it. This is like a temporary kind of experiment to the way I want to design my actual middle of the shop rolling bench. So I do want to have this. It's nice to just have the paper roll out. It's covered. If I needed to do the whole bench, I would just slice this off, right? Slide this forward, roll that up. and then slide it all the way back. And that would be the whole bench is covered. Now I have a couple pieces of steel on the bench and I'll just use them as weights to weight the bench down. Now I've got my whole bench completely covered. So if I'm working with epoxies or, you know, glues or spray paints, and I think that's gonna be the next project. I think we're gonna make a Lazy Susan, uh, a Lazy Susan paint spraying jig. And I think that'd be really cool. So let's get into that. I've got these old kitchen lazy Susans, the kind that you'd put in a cabinet to hold spices. And they're more than enough to hold the weight of this. I'm gonna grab two pieces of plywood. I'm gonna screw them together and then I'm gonna run a one inch Forstner bit down through them so that they'll line up together and that way I also can hang it up through this hole. All the supplies and the tools that I use in this video, they'll be linked in the description below, so check it out. Now I'm gonna countersink the bottom plate with some half inch screws. And I really wanna countersink the head so that the bearings don't catch and it rolls nice and smooth. I'll basically rebuild the Lazy Susan here and then I'll take the top shelf and I'll lay it on top of it and screw straight down into the center of it to hold it together. I'll take it back apart and then screw from the underside of the Lazy Susan to make it really strong. If you like fun and creative videos like this, be sure to subscribe. Do it, do it now. Hit that like button and leave me a comment. Plus, check out my affiliate links below. And I also have a store, Erickson Design Company backslash merch at Streamlabs. It's pretty awesome. You can get hats, t-shirts, stickers. Also, check out my Instagram, at Stoner Erickson. I do previews to all these projects and it's kind of fun to get involved all the way through the process. This is a project from my How to Make a Wood Whistle video. Check that video out. I'm gonna tape it to the carousel and give it a spin and see how it works. These are three easy projects to kind of clean the shop up and get it more organized. Now I do have some of these uh, painters props, little stands that you put on there and I will be able to put them on the carousel and I could put a cabinet door or something to prop it up there. That way I only have the pin points. And what I did here is I just ran a dowel up next to the bits and bobs storage and so then this that's why i drilled the hole in it this will actually just store right up here out of the way with my other jigs and that makes a lot of sense to me um, to get it up and off and when i need it i just pull it down i really like that now these little brackets here are really cool and these are like 399 299 something like that and they're going to be really strong i'm going to put some of these up and have them on hand in case i come across any other cool ideas of hanging stuff up i need to hang all my table saw jigs up. So I hope you like this video. Like, subscribe, and share. Check out my other videos right here. I'm Stoner Erickson from Erickson Design Company, and we built something.